This hack tip is brought to you by HostGator. Hello and welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and today we're going to do a nice little tip about downloading files from .ht access protected web directories without storing that password in our bash history. We don't like plain text passwords. All right, now we're going to go ahead and begin by issuing history. This command is such a useful tool for reusing previously issued commands and in its default form, it's going to simply display the last commands used. The same could actually be achieved if I do cat and then it's my um, tilde slash, my, my home directory, and it's the dot bash underscore history file. And there we go. It's kind of like the same thing. You'll notice, though, that, uh, that the history here, it records like everything used. Now, we could actually use history control commands to limit what goes in, but I actually find it easier to specify passwords into temporary variables when, or variables when I'm gonna go ahead and use, you know, plain text passwords. Now, for example, if I'm trying to download, let's say, uh, clear this, I'm trying to download secret.jpg from um, twitterfisher.com slash hidden stuff. I could issue wget and then tac tac user Darren and then tac tac password, uh, lame password, and then the address. And if I could type password correctly, it would totally work. And voila, I have my JPEG. Wonderful. Except for the fact that if I now go ahead and issue history again, well, there's the lame password. All right. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, uh, wait a second, you just downloaded from HTTP rather than HTTPS, so it doesn't really matter either way because it was always plain text in transit. And you're right, so you know, stop pestering me with the technicalities and enjoy the technique of storing passwords in temporary variables. Huh? Now, to substitute our plain text password with our variable, we're first going to need to define it. So for that, what we're going to need to do is run read, and let me clear this, we're going to run read tac e tac s tac p and we're going to give it quote, password, or just pass, right, quote, and there we go, and we're gonna say password. All right. Now, the important bit here is actually the tack P, which tells read to give us an interactive prompt, and you'll see it's saying pass, question mark. So for that, I'll say lame password, and there we go. Now, in just a bit, we're gonna put it together, but first, let's take a quick break. Looking for a place to launch your blog or website? Are you frustrated with the customer support at your current hosting provider? Go with HostGator and get up and running in minutes. With plans starting at $3.96 per month, you get top-rated 24-7 customer support and access to tools including a website builder with over 4,000 templates. HostGator will even migrate your current site for free. Their servers are 130% powered by wind energy, so it's completely green web hosting. With HostGator, you get unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, a 45-day money-back guarantee, and $100 Google AdWords credit to market your website. Right now, for Revision 3 viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month for free. Go over to HostGator.com and enter the code HACK5REVISION3, that's H-A-K-5 REVISION3, all one word, at checkout to get your discount. Now with our variable newly created, and for illustrative purposes, we're going to go ahead and test to see whether it actually can store the value, and with our echo command, we're going to just go ahead and say echo dollar password. Not like we'd ever want to do that, but there we go. We can see, you know, our string. Now to string it together with wget, what we need to do is issue wget, and then again our user, Darren, and then this time, tac tac password, and we'll put in quotation marks, dollar sign, password, and end those quotation marks, and then our address again. So twitterfisher.com slash hidden stuff slash secret dot JPEG. And then if I hit enter here, you'll see that it has downloaded it and because it has obtained the, uh, the password from that variable. And if I type history again, you can see that those most recent one, it just has the dollar sign password. 
nice. Don't have to keep my lame password in my history anymore. Now, it should probably be noted though that actually with WGET version 1.12 and beyond, the uh, TAC TAC ASK password option was added. So, you know, that does basically the same thing. But if you're on a system with an older version of WGET, I hope this comes in handy. And it's, you know, obvious that this can be adapted to more than just WGET. So I, I'm interested in hearing about how you deal with this sort of issue. And that lends me to ask, of course, what program commands and scripts are rocking your world? Hit us up tips at hack5.org or simply leave a comment below. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your techno -list.